Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> Too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across? And that's it for our first match! Excellent job by our contestants!
class in combat training. Ready to pick up Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. I don't think now's the time to be picky. How do we save him? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. Right on, let's do it. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? 
When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy, ran all the cyber terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Kinsey, where's my gun? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Are you kid- What the fuck is on the screen? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Fuck me, not again. Damn it, the camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. Easy for you to say, you're not dealing with the top-down bullshit. Anytime you want to fix this, Kinsey. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. About time I get to cause some property damage. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with worse. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. What I hope to accomplish is to put a bullet in your fucking head. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Got a situation here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. And thanks, by the way. For what? For not spawning any more tanks to kill me. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Surprisingly, near-death experiences tend to stick with you. I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, 
out a brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... That sounds scary. It's a quote from Macbeth. And yeah, fuck Shakespeare. Jane Austen or go home. Coming up on Matt's prison. So what about getting into? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Yeah, who needs a plan when you can just walk into a virtual hellhole? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Awesome. What's happening? Before you... I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world. Every time I use the computer like that, someone died of dysentery. Whoa, wait, hold up. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. No one fucks with Miller but me. Zinyak, you're gonna pay for this. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not gonna lie, I was expecting something a bit more impressive. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What is this? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. I don't understand. Is a dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. So why does a pirate have a raven? <sighs> Is this the island that the pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Shit, man, I'm just asking a question. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Who else is here? Matt. It's time for you to pick up the phone and see the real world. Oh, 
don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship.